hi guys and welcome back to my channel uh once again i am a body without a head um we are going to be doing a really fun tutorial today and a really affordable one at that i'm working with diva trust again you guys know i love my diva trust website i've been rocking with them since before i started doing youtube and they always got me when it comes to like synthetic wigs and now they have me when it comes to actual human hair so um, I'm partnering with them today and basically what I'm gonna be doing is like a little fun video I've always wanted to try this I'm gonna be using two perks of like these bundles like these one one pack um, fits all type of deal I used to do these all the time when I first started doing my hair and basically you get one pack it got three bundles in it and it has a closure in it and what I thought might be fun is for my ladies who don't really like lace front frontals to try something a little bit different and that's to do a closure two closures and make it look like a frontal now the reasons why you might want to do two closures instead of a frontal because I know a lot of people are like why would I buy two closures instead of just buying a frontal well first off um i know a lot of people have closures like you already have a closure and the thing about closures is they can be a little bit limiting as far as parting and things go so if you already have an old closure around the house or you have uh, and you want to buy a new one or whatever this could work for you as well or for people who just aren't with the frontal life this is the move for you now the reason i'm using diva trust for an example is because this one pack fits all this one pack fits all is so freaking affordable that you can buy two of these and be good like you can be done for like a couple of months another good reason is because as somebody who wears a lot of frontals and a lot of frontal wigs if you are accustomed for frontals you know that the ear tabs of frontals are almost freaking impossible to lay down um completely and keep them down the ear part is the first part that'll start lifting on your frontal and it's just really really annoying to have to deal with especially when unless you're wearing your hair in a ponytail or a pullback style half of the time your ear tabs or like there's a point they're not even seen but it's just bothersome that some of your frontal is lifting and some of it isn't closures are just all around less maintenance it's just a lot easier to throw in a wig with a closure and blend that closure than it is to blend an entire frontal make sure your baby hair is laid make sure there's no shiny parts in the glue make sure there's no gunk it's easier to clean it's just frontals are just very high maintenance and for people who are new to wigs at, and but they want that lace look or they want to look a little bit more polished than just your regular synthetic hair i do totally recommend closures it's just closures are limiting so why not make your closure look like a frontal does it make sense okay so we're gonna get started because i have been rambling for a good five minutes and the first thing i do need to do is go ahead and remove the two closures from this package and i'm going to bleach them so that the knots aren't showing also this is going to be fun because i'm actually going to test and see if i can fit six bundles of hair on this wig that's right that's right we're going to do we're taking it back to like 0809 youtube when people would double bundle all the way up here we're doing six bundles in her head six bundles y'all can we do it let's see we're going to see if we can fit six bundles and two closures into this one wig this should be fun Oh my god. Alright you guys, I'll be right back with the new closure all bleached in one. Okay, really quickly, I just want to pop back on camera to show you how the closures were packaged. Um, these are 4x4 four four closures. I love the tone of the lace, my god. I like, I, I love working with darker lace. Um, it just makes my life so much easier. This definitely needs some plucking, as you guys can see. There are a few threads in here. A few, a few gray hairs um again this hair is like super duper affordable so i kind of expect that and we do have quite the number of flyaways which you guys know i'm not a fan of at all so they have this like little um velcro portion on it just to keep the hair down which i do i appreciate it's because it was kind of like together with the the bundles but this hair is more of a Mm, two I'm gonna say two it's a natural brown not a natural black but what I thought was really cool 
is that on the packaging and on um I'm gonna try to turn my lights down so you guys can see this on the packaging there's actually a little card that tells you depending on the volume how high the hair would lift and what time uh, how long it took to lift it to that color that for beginners is so cool like I don't I don't know about you guys but when I first started doing hair it, and it's still to this day it's always trial and error this is so cool that they try to like they give you so much freaking information this is why i love working with diva trust i swear to god and they show you all the things you can do with the hair they tell you how to wash it and all that good stuff so they have the care maintenance right here and i just thought this little care tip thing was so freaking cool like this comes for people like it, it really is a one pack solution because this is lit like to tell you everything you can do how to take care of it, everything the color tone it's just it's completely mind-blowing that i don't know we're in the future <laughs> like back in the day like you would just get your little packs of hair and some baggies and that's it but companies are really stepping up and really taking in consideration what we're saying here as a customer and i really do appreciate that so big ups to diva trust on that one i think this is like so awesome and big ups to sensational too because they've been rocking with me for a real, real long time and uh <laughs> providing that good good synthetic hair but now they're stepping into human hair and you know what I'm actually really impressed now that we're starting I'm gonna show you guys some of the bundles and they're really soft but again they are more of a brown color than a black which I appreciate it just means you're either gonna need to dye your hair black or you're gonna need to dye your hair it's easier to bleach your hair point blank period now here is one of the bundles it does have they do have this cute little pink ribbon and the length on there which i appreciate too um sometimes i work with companies and once you take it out the bag you do not know what length you're rocking with which is why i'm so confused all the time here on camera for you guys but they helped me out they put this little cute little ribbon on there this hair is like a body wave and there's no smell to the hair which is awesome um i'm actually really surprised i thought there would be a smell just because the hair you know is pre-packaged and things like that there are again there are lighter hairs a few gray hairs in here that I'm seeing um, which I don't have a problem with because if you're gonna dye it that's fine I think that the light and dark hairs do add dimension so this is what the bundles look like the uh, it's pretty full all the way to the bottom I'm gonna give give them that it is really full all the way to the bottom besides the like few gray hairs and things I think this would be really good hair to work with um, yeah so I'm gonna come back when we're done prepping the hair for the wig okay you guys so here is the uh, closure all bleached not looking right um, I chose this closure to be the one that I basically mutilate um, because it's denser if that makes sense and I just want to be lazy and not have to pluck as much this closure as you can see so <laughs> it's not as dense um, although this one is a little bit over process with bleaching that's fine I can fix that very easily I just don't feel like plucking all this hair up out of this part so instead I chose the closure that already seemed a little more pre-plucked and that's gonna be the one for my middle part this one what we're gonna do basically is part as cleanly as we can down the middle braid do not laugh at my struggle braids y'all know i can't braid also my hands are ashy because i just got finished washing and blow drying all of those bundles because we put a black rinse on this hair um it still looks a little brown but it is a black rinse on it very subtle i just wanted the hair to be darker for this we're just gonna struggle braid up oh god why am i so bad at doing a corn roll why am i so bad at it anyway braid to say about the way so you're not cutting it up and then we're going to cut straight down the middle of this closure i just take some scissors oh that was a closure just take some scissors and cut up the middle of your closure pow oh we got two halves this is <laughs> this is so nerve-wracking this is like super duper anxiety right now having cut my closure now what we're going to do on our already mapped out wig cap here, as you can see, I've already traced out my ears because we're going to cut those parts. We're not going to sew any wefts in this area. Um, basically, we're going to place our closure 
little tiny teeny bit ahead of just a little bit this is going to be our actual middle part closure so let me move this back a little i'm going to just place it a tiny bit in front of the wig cap just make sure you're pinning on the threads Okay, so basically what I have done is place the actual closure that I'm going to use for my middle part where I want it. And I'm going to make sure it's nice and taut onto the wig cap. Now you're not going to sew it down just yet. You're just going to make sure it's exactly placed where you want it, which is just slightly in front of the band here. And everything is nice and smooth. Okay, so I put an excess number of sewing pins and just to make sure everything lays nice and flat for the next portion. You're then going to take your two halves and line them right on up. Just line them right on up with that first portion. Make sure they are pulled nice and taut as well. All right, so this is basically what we're looking like in the back. We are coming to the back to meet that kind of circular motion. If the back isn't perfect, that's fine. You're gonna be sewing tracks back there anyway. What you wanna make sure is that the front here is all lined up. That's what you want. You want the front to make sure the hair line is lined up because that's what's going to be important for you guys so we turned our four by four into an eight by four pow now what we're going to do is basically sew all around the perimeter to the cap so you're going to only sew these this outside portion and sew it to the cap Alright guys, so now you have the entire back perimeter sewn to your cap. It's not the neatest, but it'll do because these gaps will now be closed by us sewing the lace portion together without touching the cap. So basically, you're going to want to take some light colored thread and you're just going to go and sew the lace together. Do not go through your cap by any means. So the final step to our faux frontal is to go ahead and sew the two lace portions together, not including the cap. So I'm gonna start at the back and the actual type of sewing I'm gonna do is um, actually start underneath the lace. Let me get you guys a little closer. You see what I'm doing? I actually start underneath the lace, like go under, not over, pull the knot through, and then what we're gonna do is go straight over to the other side and pull through, kind of like a shoelace motion. And then we're gonna come back on this side and then go to the other side. So you're making more of a ladder stitch. I think that might be what it's called, I'm not sure. But as you can see, you can pull it tightly without having too much of that thread showing. 
So that's the kind of stitch you want to do for basically a side to side stitching motion. You're not looping it, you're not knotting it, you're just basically doing like a shoestring ladder motion. And then when you pull. Okay, so that part is all stitched up. Now to knot it, what I'm gonna do is once I get to the front, I'm going to basically do a back stitch. Do a back stitch a couple of times so that you can't really, so we're not right in the front we're making our knot. Okay guys, so we pretty much made ourselves a faux frontal, or at least an 8x4 closure. Again, this method should work for any length of closure you basically have. Um, it gives you way more parting options. Alright guys, so now you basically have like twice as wide of a frontal than you had starting out. Let's go ahead and take your pins out of the portions that we're holding these bad boys together. This portion is okay. You don't need to like sew that down because you'll be basically gluing it to your head or however you apply. So these don't need to be sewn together. That's unnecessary. But now you can see that you have a lot more parting options here. You can do a deeper side part than you originally could. Things like that. So I think this is pretty cool. Again, I feel like this is a lot better than a frontal for beginners because if you guys can see where my ear was, this is usually where ear tab is. So you have pretty much the entire frontal space without having to worry about the ear tab part coming up and things like that. So I think this would be really good for me. Now, the next portion isn't really part of the tutorial. I'm basically just going to try to fit six freaking bundles of hair onto this wig uh my plan is to double weft the first four bundles and then single weft the last three as you guys can see from my little drawing here i'm going to completely avoid the little ear portion and around this mark if you guys can see it around this little golden mark is when i'm going to start doing my single weft so we're doing double weft all the way up to about this point and then the last two bundles will be single wefted to keep it as flat as possible. You guys, cross your freaking fingers. I've never tried to fit that many bundles in one head. I'm just going to give you a quick shot of the back portion and how it's sewed along. So remember I told you not to worry about those gaps that were there. They would close up when we sewed it together. So it's a complete piece now. It goes completely flat across. And I will show you how I basically do the last portion. You guys have seen me make my wigs already. I have videos on that. So I'm not gonna have you sit through this portion. The video probably is already <laughs> pretty long. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the first couple double wefts and then I'll be back. So, so far I have been able to fit five bundles and basically we only have this little section here. I'm probably not gonna be able to fit the last bundle in. Um, maybe about a third of a bundle will fit here. Let me go ahead and move this needle so I can show you guys how I've done this. So pretty much it's super close together. Um, the first four bundles are double wefted and sewn so freaking close that you basically, when you part, you can't even see the tracks. That's how, oh my God, it's so freaking full in the back. But then um, this fifth bundle, I actually started spacing out a little bit and it's because I wanted it to be flatter. This is gonna be top of my head, of course, so this is like the middle of my head and I don't want it to be 
all bulky like how the back is. I want it to be much flatter in case I want to straighten the hair or wear it um, any kind of like in any kind of style that would require it to be a little more flat. So I have space for a, a little bit more of one more bundle and um, yeah basically I'm just gonna sew that last bundle going across until we get to this part and then I'm going to connect the bundle here and that part I'm actually going to try to show you guys on camera so you can see it but as far as the stitching goes it's just the same method of stitching it's just some of the bundles I double wefted and then once I got to that portion that I showed you guys earlier that where that dome was I went ahead and single wefted that all the way up I haven't cut any of my wefts so I'm actually super duper uh, happy about that I've just been folding them over and making sure they were as flat as possible so you can kind of see here that's a fold over weft that's a fold over weft underneath there all of the wefts in the front this hair is a mess because I've been doing it on my lap but we'll fix it once we straighten and install it all of these are folded over and here's my little ear tab part that I've left open so I can basically cut that part out and uh, wear the wig as tight to my head as I want to. We just have this one little piece here that we are going to sew a track to. So we just get that started. Basically we're going to focus on connecting this track to the to the lace. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to go under the lace kind of like we did for uh, connecting the lace together so I can get that portion in there all right awesome I'm gonna go under the lace and I'm gonna go through this weft all right so now that we're under the lace we're gonna go through the cap as well and also through your weft now you don't have to continue to sew through your weft. You just want to start out sewing through the weft to make sure it's laying pretty tight. All right. You can either do an overhand stitch or you can do the same stitch that we did for the uh, for connecting the weft together, which is what I think I'm going to do here. So I'm going to go back through come through the here Okay, you guys, so here is the final sealed track right here. Let me just lift her up off of her stand so you guys can see. So here's the final sealed track. We are sealed all around really nicely. See, you didn't even have to worry about that little M shape there. We were able to seal that up using that kind of zigzag method. I'm gonna go ahead and clip these extra with some dig it strings now if you feel some type of way about having this light colored thread you can always just take either some makeup or a little bit of um brown hair dye and just kind of like take a q-tip and just dab it on there so that it blends in with the rest of the hair and the lace it's really not that big of a deal to me but i will probably go in and add some makeup to this portion just to kind of camouflage it a little bit other than that we seem to have we definitely have finished the wig we've definitely finished the wig here um trying to show you guys more so the tracks than anything but yeah she's pretty much done i'm going to give her a curl maybe a couple of curls she's very thick very full which is this will be fun especially if she's gonna be curly um 
yeah I think she'll be nice hair I'm actually a little excited that I did this let's see let's look at the front again let's look at this let's just take a look at the little lace frontal portion we've done here I think we've done a good job with connecting them and having everything you know sort of connected and it looks pretty good I'm actually actually feeling myself a little bit about this now make sure when you part you're not parting on the portions that are sewn together clearly you don't want to part it here or there once you style it and flat iron it and and you know hot comb it it'll stay the parts will stay but yeah so you have a deep side parting here that you can do or deep side parting on the other side you can just do an ivy flip over for all you care or even a middle part which is what I might go for here all right guys so I'm actually behind my camera right now but I just wanted to show you guys what the completed faux frontal looks like and here is the wig she's curled I didn't show you guys me curling her on camera well because that was just taking entirely too long so I'm just gonna place her on my head so that we can see this hairline in action okay and so this is the wig applied to my head I don't have it like glued down or anything it's a uh, it's just sitting on top of my wig cap so this is what it looks like I actually really like this like I don't know like I really don't know what possessed me to try this out it did seem like with me working with frontal so much I just kind of wanted to see if a frontal was necessary to have a frontal look and I don't think it is I really don't I think you can do this probably with like a six inch closure like a six by four or six by hopefully they have a six by six. Oh my god that would be life um this is technically an eight by four because it's a it's two four by fours put together so it's still four inches wide but it's now eight inches across so it's going from temple to temple which is really cool um so I don't have to if you can guys can see I uh, you can see my like wood cap or whatever but I'm just go ahead and make your wig cap a little bit further back anyway you don't have to worry about ear tabs you because well I mean hair is down anyway and you don't have to worry about them like coming up so that's the biggest reason why I wanted to do it is because I hate having to try to glue down my freaking ear tabs it's the first part of me that comes up first part of me that comes up. it's the first part of my wig that comes up um, when I'm at the gym it's the first part that sweats it, and then I had to throw a hat on and then the ear tabs are still kind of showing and it's just like if you want to clock my wig check my ear tabs because they probably are not sticking down correctly nine times out of ten and it just it's too much I don't like to deal with it so I do prefer closures like I don't know if that's something that you guys know about me or you can tell about me from my my videos because I do so many frontals is that I do prefer closures they're so much easier it's so much easier to lay your wig where you're only wearing a closure and you just all you need to worry about is when that wind hit you know and you'd be like whoo you be, you know you ever walk through like a windy day like whoo okay whoo don't don't let nobody see don't let nobody see don't don't don't, don't fly back now but um with curlier hair, I don't think that's like a huge problem. The thing about this hair is that it's so freaking soft. Oh my god, it's just it's bouncy. I put I use my my wand curler. I have a five in one wand curler, and I'll link that below. And I use the second smallest attachment to that, and um, I basically just put these little wand curls in there. So from those two packs of uh of one pack style hair this is what I have left so this is quite quite a bit this is about half a bundle a little more than maybe a little more than half a bundle actually I can't really tell but this is what I have left um I, <laughs> is she full like she she full I might even I might be able to sneak this up underneath it or something I don't know I I, I think it's enough hair in this wig but yeah so so the two packs me this wig freaking ridiculous I haven't layered it because it did come um, 16 18 20 so I just put it in order so 16 18 20 I'm doing the most of my baby hair but baby hair is required if you're going to put two closures together because basically the netting isn't continuous the lace is not continuous because you have three sections of cut lace you're gonna want to do a swoop there just to camouflage it 
Um, again, this is not a necessary thing. This is just a fun thing that I did. But if you have two closures and they're, they're four inch closures, because you know, four inch closures was like standard for a while. I know people have bigger closures now, but if you have two, in, two four inch closures sitting around and, or you can, or for my hair store ladies, y'all know we doing closures at the hair store. Matter of fact, this is, this hair is sensational. This is hair store beauty supply store hair you know what I mean so if you can find this in your hair store here's what the package looks like I'm not sure if you guys can see that but here's what the package looks like it's uh it's pink it's sensational bare and natural 100% virgin hair and it is good this is actually good human hair if you do not have a beauty supply store around you please click the link below and check out Diva Trust she got you like Diva Trust has always had me if I couldn't find it in my beauty supply store but this is a great method if you guys want to have that frontal look and not have to deal with a frontal frontals are way too much freaking maintenance trust me i know i deal with them every single week here on this channel trust me okay the frontals are too much maintenance and they, they get gross you gotta clean them it's too it's too much it's too much are they good for like versatility yes but only if you can lay it if you can't lay a frontal then versatility don't matter sis we clocking you so just if you're comfortable with closures, go ahead and give this a try. If you're comfortable with closures, go ahead and give this a try. If you want to step outside of your comfort zone just a little bit, but you ain't ready to go all the way to the front. This is a good method. I stand by it. Thank you so much, Sophieology, for basically introducing everybody to this method. Um, she's the first person I saw do it. I don't know if someone else here on YouTube has done it before, but I'm giving credit to Sophieology because that's where I saw it and that's the method I tried to do. I didn't cut my left, so I don't have a problem with this hair shedding at all. I've been continuously trying to like uh, all throughout the day play with these curls because I've been trying to make sure that they stay apart. They have a tendency to want to go back into the original like shape and I kind of want them to stay big and bouncy. So I don't want them to be too defined. So I've been kind of like, I've been doing this a lot and I haven't gotten barely any shedding from doing it. I haven't gotten any tangling wearing this wig I've been wearing her for just a few hours since I've gotten home now I don't have any bad things to say about the hair um, I think the hair was packaged very well however when you first get the packaging they um one cool thing is that the closure has like a little velcro strip on it to keep it together but a bad thing is the bundles were actually like triple packaged if that makes sense so they had a pink ribbon which was really cute and then underneath the pink ribbon was like some twine and then under the twine was some some damn rubber band or something they were really making sure that this hair was staying together in the bundle so because of that you need to be really careful when opening these bundles because if you try to pull it down there's way too like you're gonna you're gonna break off some pieces of hair and you don't want to do that if you try to cut it too quickly and not being careful you're gonna cut your wefts and you don't want to do that either so that's the only thing that I had a problem with is that they super duper packaged this hair and I don't think it was necessary at all I do want to try this hair again because I want to bleach it I want to I want to test it out I want to bleach it I want to color it I wanna... they gave us this adorable freaking little card that shows you that you can literally bleach this hair to like a 27 like it's showing you that and I'm, I want to test it out like I really want to test that out um I feel so stupid because I feel like I should just try to do this with five bundles and then if hindsight's 2020 but um I should have just kept one bundle out so that I could test the hair and bleach it and show you guys how it reacts to color and stuff and just not use that for this but that would be my tester bundle and I didn't do that because I'm so excited to fit six damn bundles in my head and now look at us all like sad about it and we don't get to test it out so I am going to try to get another pack of this hair and try it out because I think this hair is super duper freaking affordable I think this is, is a great alternative to hair companies like the, the fact that Diva Trust is stepping up their game and throwing their hat in the ring with like legit virgin hair I, I'm, I'm living and this hair has no smell it has no weird smell you would think like it would have a weird kind of like hair store kind of almost synthetic smell it has absolutely no smell you guys it does have entirely too many um sh like random strands like okay so when you get buns if anybody's gotten buns you notice sometimes you'll get like a, a piece of white straight it's not hair it's just strands of like 
strings it's string in the hair like from them sewing the wefts together I guess but there was way too many of them within these bundles I came across maybe four or five I had to pluck out then again this was like six bundles in the hair but still that's annoying I don't want to have to find keep finding like colored string and popping it off of the weft so they do need to work on cleaning that up but other than that the hair itself is not fly away central there were no problems with um once i curled it there was no problem with like any kind of like burnt smell or, or toughness or any like anything this hair is so freaking soft like i can i can pillow like lay down this as a pillow like it's just so freaking tough i love it and i love how it's holding this curl I don't even know, I don't even know what grade of hair this is to be holding this curl like this. I only curled it once. Like I haven't touched up any curls or anything. I curled it and I left it overnight and it has not fallen in the least bit. So I'm so freaking excited to try and bleach this hair and see how much it holds up. Because right now it's showing me nothing but promise. I'm not saying go out and buy two packs. I mean, you can, but one pack is definitely enough to get a really good full look. However, I wanted two packs because I wanted to challenge myself to put six packs of hair in my head. We taking it back to 08 YouTube. We we doing big hair, big things again. We taking it back, back, back in time. So um, I wanted really big hair, especially for today, for this event. I want it to be really super duper glamorous. And so I think we achieved that with this look. Um, if you guys have any questions about Diva Trust as a company or their products, please leave them below and I will try to get you all the answers that you need. If you've ever tried the sensational um, one pack solution with the closure, please let me know how it's held up for you. Anyway, I love you guys so much. This is the end of the video. I will see you in my next one. Mwah! Happy Valentine's Day and you guys have